This is the sound of a water wheel that powers a paper mill in Kranigu village near Samarkand, where paper is being made from mulberry bark, in the ancient way that it was a thousand years ago. Scraped, boiled, smashed, and sieved. Well, this process just reminds me of paper making techniques in China. And actually, artisans here told us that it was in the 8th century that Chinese soldiers brought paper production to people in this region. The final product is a smooth and durable paper with a distinctive yellowish color and a silky texture. But the process is labor intensive and time consuming. Therefore, in the 17th century, a cheap white paper became more popular. We created an organization backed by UNESCO's emphasis on preserving ancient handicrafts. Our main goal was to revive lost art forms. For years, we have been experimenting with the recipe. In the memoirs of Zahiro Din Babur, living in the 16th century, the paper was made in this village of Conigo. Now our history is back as paper production has resumed. Today, Samarkand papers are not simply old relics lying on the shelf. They can be used in a variety of ways, including in clothing, decoration, souvenirs, and even in restoration of ancient books. Because it can be stored for 2,000 years, our calligraphers, painters, and historical manuscripts need it. Can we join this program? Many guests were interested and asked us. And then we made a contract with them. Now people are coming from all over the world. While the papermaking skills shine as a beacon of cultural renaissance, other traditional local skills like pottery and oil making are also breathing new life into this time on at Silk Road town. Uzbekistan is called like crossroads of civilizations, uh, which lies on the Silk Road. Thanks to this exchange, we enriched our culture, enriched our handicraft, enriched our trade and production. And still, we have great uh, production potential, which is going from handicraft shifted to manufacturing, big manufacturing. It's centuries uh, proven partnership, uh, which benefits every country. Written on the Asian paper can be a new chapter of diversity, reciprocity, and prosperity. Feng Yilei CGTN, Samarkand, in Uzbekistan.